Everybody still hanging in there? Woo! It's getting a little quiet on here. Yeah! Right, right. Another shout out to a very good friend of ours in the audience who was supposed to speak today. He just texted me, he said, I can't do it. Joe McKenna, Representative Joe McKenna. What else we got here? Mark Vaughn. Mark, Mark. I do want to point out somebody in the crowd. He said he's the biggest redneck in the crowd. And did you see him? He is. Calvin. Calvin. He is. I can't say single-handedly because his better half, Jill, and a bunch of other volunteers have saturated Central and Western Mass with these signs. To date, statewide, with the help of Calvin, Tim the printer who printed the original signs, 20,000 signs statewide. Now the moms are so panicking, they're actually stealing the signs and changing them to say support HD 4420. Imagine that. Oh, where's Renee? Renee, I'm sorry, I called them moms. I know. Renee told me one time, she said, they're not moms. A mom would never leave their children defenseless in the face of violent crime. And by the way, I do refer to them as moms demand attention. Not, you know, but now we just refer to them as Bloomberg's banshees, and you can take it from there. Our next speaker is not only a huge supporter of the Second Amendment, but ladies, give him props. The first guy I ever saw walk into a Senate formal session with a baby carrier and his child. Senator Ryan Fabin. What a way to be introduced. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Ryan Fatman. I have the honor of serving the Worcester and Hamden District in the Massachusetts State Senate. And today I am incredibly encouraged for you coming out here today. I come from a military family. My great great grandfather fought for the Union and the Civil War. My grandfather fought in the Pacific in World War II. And my brother is currently stationed in Iraq as his commanding officer, a captain, helicopter pilot, with 178 men and women under his command. I'd like to say in my family, as you probably are aware, freedom isn't free. But there's a second part of that equation. Freedoms shouldn't be given away freely. And that is what today is all about. What your emails, your advocacy, and everything that you've done to stop this bill in its tracks back in July and to continue to make sure that it doesn't get any forward progress. And I want to tell you a story. My hometown is Sutton, Massachusetts. We have one of the interesting distinctions in the state. There's more license to carry as Class A in Sutton, Massachusetts, per capita, than anywhere else in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. But back in June, and this is directly tied to this bill, 4420, every single parent in the Sutton school system received a text message. Don't come to the school. Lockdown in place, it will advise. Don't come to the school, lockdown in place, will advise. A teacher witnessed what she thought was someone carrying a rifle across the ball field at the Sutton Public Schools. And my friend, an off-duty police officer who happened to have his radio on, heard the call come across the Sutton Police Department. He stopped everything he was doing, he grabbed his firearm, grabbed his badge, and ran to the school. Not just to protect his community, but to protect his two sons that were in that school. What my friend did that day, according to this bill, would make him a felon for carrying a concealed firearm, even though he's an off-duty police officer even though this is one of the tools in his toolkit 
to keep our community safe. And it is exactly one of the many reasons why this bill needs to put away to pasture. Freedom isn't free. Thank you for being here today, for not giving away your freedom freely. God bless you.